Okay, so here is a step-by-step -step example of calculating the energy of a photon emitted from a one electron ion, in this, in this case it's lithium two plus, when it transitions from N equals two, or the first excited state, to the ground state. And so we're gonna do that by first calculating the energy of each of the two states involved. Then we're gonna take the difference, so E final minus E initial, and that's going to be our change in energy, which is delta E, including the sine. And then we are going to use that to calculate the wavelength of the photon emitted. Because remember, this change in energy that happens when, this, when the atom transitions is emitted in the form of a photon. Okay? So let's go ahead and write down a few equations. Okay? So remember, we're going to be using the Bohr model. Okay, and we can calculate the energy of a certain energy state using this equation. Okay, so negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules multiplied by z squared. Remember, that's the atomic number, and then multiplied by 1 over n squared. And remember, this n is just whichever uh, principal quantum number, whatever state it is in. Okay, and so let's also write down for lithium, all right, Z is equal to, okay, so if you said Z is equal to 3, you would be right. And for part A, we're going to look at the first excited state first, and right, that's N equals 2, okay, just as we discussed before. So let's go ahead and calculate the energy of E2 first, okay? So E2 is negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules multiplied by 3 squared, okay, and then multiplied by 1 over 2 squared, okay. And so for E2, after we multiply that all together, we are going to end up with negative 4.18 9, 1 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Okay, so that's E2. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate E1. Okay, so E1 is going to be negative 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18 joules multiplied by the same 3 squared and then that's going to be 1 over 1 squared, which of course is still just going to be equal to 1. All right, so if we multiply that together, then we are going to end up with negative 1.96 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Okay, so that's our ground state. That's the lowest energy state. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do next for part C, we're going to calculate this change in energy, okay? So that's going to be delta E. And that's the energy difference between the two states as the ion transitions from that second, that first excited state, N equals 2, to the ground state. All right, so for part C, we're going to do it on the next slide, but we're going to use delta E, and we usually label it atom, even though this is an ion, okay? And that's going to be E final minus E initial, okay? And so we'll do that on the next slide. And I'll write down our values that we have so far also. Okay, so E2 that we've calculated previously is negative 4.91 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Okay, E1, our ground state, is negative 1.96 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Okay, we talked about calculating the energy of this transition, and that's going to be E final minus E initial. Okay, and let's go ahead and add an energy state diagram to this picture. Okay, so just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so here's n equals 1, 
and here's n equals 2. Okay, so our ion starts in this energy state and it's going to go down to this one. Okay, so it's going to transition down to the ground state. And as it does that, it's going to emit a photon. Okay? And that photon energy is going to be equal to the absolute value of our change in energy of our atom that we're going to calculate. Okay? So that's where we're going. So we want to calculate the energy of this transition which is going to be emitted as a photon. It's going to release energy as a photon with a certain wavelength. So let's go ahead and calculate delta E atom. Okay, so our, the energy of the transition. Okay, and remember it's E final minus E initial and our final state is E1. So that's going to be E1 minus E2. Okay, and so let's go to delta E atom and fill in our numbers. That's going to be negative 1.96 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. That's going to be minus, and then minus 4.91 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. Okay. And when we run that through the calculator, we are going to get negative 1.469 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Okay, so that's how much energy was released. Okay, so this energy was released. And it was released as a photon. Okay, now photons cannot have negative energy. All right, so the energy of this transition is equal to the absolute value of the energy change from the, sec the first excited state to the ground state, okay? So basically, we're going to say, all right, energy was released. It was, ener it was released in the form of a photon, in a little packet of energy called a photon. So we're going to take the positive value of that. That's the amount of energy released and we are going to calculate the wavelength of that photon for part D, okay? So now we will have characterized the transition completely. So we calculated the energy of each state, and then we calculated the difference in energy, so the energy of this transition, so this delta E, okay? And now we're going to relate that delta E to the energy of the photon okay the photon that was emitted alright so I'm gonna rearrange this guy okay and I'm gonna solve for wavelength alright okay so multiply both sides by wavelength divide out E photon so make sure you can do that and then we're gonna end up with HC over E photon okay and remember this is delta E, the absolute value of that, okay? So that we released energy, so the, ener the energy of the atom went down, or the energy of the lithium ion went down, but when we calculate the energy of our photon, we're just going to take the absolute value of that, okay? And so, okay, let's put in Planck's constant, so that's H, so 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joules seconds. Okay, that's for H. Put in the speed of light, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Okay. And then we're going to put in the energy of our photon, which is positive 1.469 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Okay. And when we run all of those numbers, we are going to end up with 1.35 times 10 to the negative 8 meters. Okay? Now, let's make sure we all know how we got to meters. Okay? So we have joules on the bottom and joules on the top. You can cancel that out. 
seconds in the numerator, the denominator in our speed of light, seconds in the numerator in Planck's constant, and that just leaves us with meters. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is go ahead and calculate nanometers. So we want to convert this. Okay, so one meter is equal to 10 to the 9 nanometers. So when we multiply that out, we're going to end up with 13.5 nanometers. So that's the wavelength of the photon emitted. The wavelength of the little packet of energy emitted when this lithium ion went from the n equals 2 first excited state to the ground state.